Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Batman The Telltale Game. Well, last time you remember, we started Episode 3. We wound up having a long talk with Harvey, where we read him the right act about what a lousy friend he is. We went and saved Officer Montoya, despite her going out of her way to try and kill us, and we're kind of a jerk to her as well. And then we were kind of a jerk to Jim Gordon and the cops, and we were just a jerk to Regina, the lady who just informed us that the board of directors of Wayne Enterprises is about to fire us because, yeah, even though you've done nothing wrong, we need to look like we're doing something to protect our phony baloney jobs. Harumph, harumph. Hold on, I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. <laughs> Mel Brooks references. You kids don't get them. But anyway... We are about to uh, enter into our secret war lab where Lucius Fox has some stuff for us. And unsurprisingly, the secret entrance to the secret lab involves manipulating a dark knight. Dun 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 Going down, Mr. Wayne? Batman shaped track lighting. It's good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit, too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. It doesn't matter what the board does, we'll be fine. I'm not going to let anything get in the way of what we're doing down here. Back at you, wow, back at you, wow, wow. Anymore. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. As you well know. If someone were to, say, uh, build a back door into that tech? You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into this system? They got in my back door? That's the thing. Do you want the good news, or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Just spit it out. Just get on with it, Lucius. We don't have time for games. Forgive me for trying to lighten the mood. The back door they're using. I was the one who built it. So you went in my back door?! What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. <laughs> Except if they hacked everything. Break all the comms. I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's going to take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains. How did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. Hill took Whoever my computers. In, certainly knew how to cover their tracks. When the cops raided the manor, they seized every computer belonging to Wayne Enterprises. Mayor Hill must have given them to the children of Arkham. Trying to save himself, I'm sure. I'm gonna keep working on this children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. All right, check for upgrades, then hide the bat tech. Uh, Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke. 
Stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become, and I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. I always wonder why he had a table that could hide itself. Guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me, it was much more paranoia than precaution. Hey, it's not paranoia when everybody is out to get me. Let's look at the drone. Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Thermal vision? <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? Not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selina. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. Sticky bomb? A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. And battering. Okay, we don't need that then. And nothing over here. So we can go ahead and hide the table. Hide gadgets. Totally seamless. Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do... Here. Get that back to the Bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the Children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. Okay, remember how I said that nothing we were going to do is we're going to be able to help with Regina? We're about to find out why. Let's switch back. Mr. Wayne, Bruce, open up. I thought maybe you'd left. Yeah, right. Well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. I won't do it. Bruce. This is my company. My name. And that name is exactly why we're in this situation. This isn't a request, Bruce. I asked to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. Well, you should have fought harder. The board would have listened to you. They'd already made up their minds. I did what I could. You have to trust me on that. <laughs> Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oh, no. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. 
And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. What a chilly greeting. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Oh, well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine, Cobblepot sits easier on the tongue. I don't need your help. I can fix this myself. Well, that's admirable, but your name is tarnished, Bruce. You need me. Unfortunately, he's right. Any move from you, no matter how genuine, would appear self-serving at this point. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. I refuse to hand my company over to a criminal. Don't do this, Bruce. Oh, don't worry now. I'm going to take good care of this place. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Yeah, you oh, know, and I can punching would be satisfying, no but... Pick it up. Now! But, uh, it's all right. Bruce has been through enough today, hasn't he? Oh. Looks broken, I'm afraid. Not a good sign, is it? Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'll add a fish tank. A large one. Something exotic. Go to hell, Oswald. When I get there, I'll say hello to your parents. This way, Bruce. Give him credit, that's a good comeback. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. Yeah, um, like I said, for for all the talk about oh I'm on your side really she can't get us out of here fast enough, so uh bollocks to her too. Happened, didn't it? They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Think you can keep an eye on things while I'm gone? I... I don't know. Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. But... Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. Thanks, Lucius. Keep that drive safe. And yeah, this is one of the choices which actually does, surprisingly, uh, change up your options in the later half of the game later. Because, again, you have some actions you can take with it. You get information from Lucius if he's on the inside, but 
there's bits where the upgrade equipment comes in handy later, and having uh, handled both, I think that the path where you get upgrade tech is a bit more fun, so let's uh, go on. Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. Yeah, I wouldn't mind easy for a change. Someday. No, we steadily avoided uh, complimenting uh, Alfred Lieutenant there. Gordon, he said there's nothing to be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. He needs proof to dig further. Penguin's slippery, all right. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Okay, so we can go and have our back door scan, but uh, let's just go ahead and check the codex first real quick. And yeah, my father built my enterprise on stolen land, built his fortune on the backs of his enemies, and did so while the authorities in charge turned upon eye. I began this journey in memory of my parents' deaths, but now everything I knew about him, everything I've done as Batman, it was all just chasing a lie. Because, yeah, there's no way that this changes out that uh, turns out Thomas Wayne was innocent. This is a frame job. Turns out that, yeah, he, he was a scumbag. I uh, never had a reason to doubt Alfred until recently, but he's still the only family I have anymore. He kept secrets from me, but I've got plenty of secrets to keep the people I care about safe. I can't fault him for trying to do the best for me. Even though we've majorly chewed his ass out for it. And again, like I said, uh, what you say doesn't really change this aspect of the game that much. I wonder how Harvey would react if he knew it wasn't just Catwoman I saved the debate, but Selina. He was itching to get out of that hospital, regardless of how much pain he's in. Typical Harvey, showing off his smile to ease everyone's mind. I worry what will happen if he keeps pushing his own problems deeper and deeper. Foreshadowing. Uh, Mayor Hill. Deceased. Hill gave the tape of my father gaslighting Esther Cobblepot to the children of Arkham and proves my father's criminal dealings, but for Hill it was too little too late. Well, I'm glad to see Hill out of the picture. I would rather have had Batman handled instead of the Penguin. Murder and justice are never the same thing. Uh, Catwoman seems a true asset during the debate. She's one of the smartest people I've encountered, and she's proven again and again to be a valuable ally. After we've grown so close, there's no way I could leave her behind in the debate. I just hope she's willing to help me take down the children of Arkham and their leader. Uh, didn't realize how dangerous the Penguin could be until the debate. He shot Mary Hill without a care in the world, though I should probably expect the unexpected from Oz. There's nothing left of the best friend I once had. I'm a cobblepot and the CEO of Cherry Enterprises. Everything I built is at stake. Jim and I are rocky ground. I haven't been delicate with the Trimble Arkham members I've encountered so far. What he doesn't understand is that my methods lead to results, and any attack that will take down the children of Arkham is fine in my book. Uh, rough time, especially after getting roped on stage with the Penguin at the debate. I'm just glad she got out of the theater safely. She's the only reporter defending my family name in the press. Falcone's gone, killed by a police bullet. However, his fate doesn't make my life any easier. His criminal influence over Gotham may be over, but I still don't have the answers I want from him. He manipulated others for years, but in the end, he became the victim of someone else's manipulations. And Montoya, Montoya decided to go after the children of Arkham herself. I admire her stubbornness, but she needs to stay out of danger. Hopefully, Gordon can convince her to stand down from her mission against the children of Arkham. With her safely out of the way, I can, I can handle the rest. And Lucius, didn't report for him before, told him to quit Wayne Enterprise and come work with me in the Batcave. Lucius here, he can stay safe from the Penguin and develop more tech for Batman. And no idea who the children of Arkham leader is, but it looks like he's pulling the strings of the whole operation. Even Penguin was taking orders from him. And Sheldon Markham reel themselves at the bait, but they've been lurking around for a while. The heist of City Hall, stolen chemicals at the dock. And my company's been stripped away, and now the Penguin, of all people, sits at the top. This must have been his plan all along. The Sheldon Markham must have access to everything when your prize is involved in. Luckily, Cobblepot does not have the R&D lab. Hopefully, I can keep it that way. And... 
news feed. And we got too much for Batman's story about the attack on Harvey Dent and how we weren't there. And a story about Batman and Catwoman teaming up. And the mysterious compound found in the chemical explosion. Oh, note that it was developed by Ace Chemicals. A little mythology gag there. And a little frustration over the election. And demand for Bruce Wayne to resign. Okay, so let's check out Lucius's drive. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known Children of Arkham activity. Well, Arkham Asylum, obviously. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. Let's see, City Hall, we can listen to a recording. No, I... Yes, yes, I know it takes time, but... The statement of the century, considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes, just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? Not yet. Check everything else out first, because, you know, seriously, screw Harvey. City Hall, record of Gotham Mayors. Hill had been in office for so long, it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. Let's see, GCPD what records. What if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech? This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. Except for a bunch of blind cops running around. Okay, courthouse records. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. All right, now I guess we have to warn Harvey. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, welcome. You can go on in. 
I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Hmm. Uh, Harvey? Uh, back here, Bruce. Uh, take a seat. I'll be right out. Oh, come on, not today. Stop, stop, stop. I have to stop. You, uh, you need some help back there? Uh, no, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. Well, it's, it's good as it's gonna get. Uh, you know, Bruce, I've been looking forward to this my entire career. The day Harvey Dent takes his official portrait as mayor of Gotham. And he looks like this. Yay! Uh, I mean, uh, you, you look fine, really. Uh, just... I'm glad you survived the trip up here, Bruce. You want to tell me what's going on? I didn't keep you waiting that long, did I? I just found out Wayne Tech is compromised. The children of Arkham are using it to track the GCBD. You could be next. But Wayne Tech is everywhere. If they can hack into it... That's why they have to be stopped. Leave it to me. Thank you, Bruce. Children of Ark can jump me. God, it's only getting worse. It's out of control. I can't stop it. This can't continue. What are you going to do to stop him? Not enough. It's never enough. Harvey Dent does everything by the book, to the letter of the law. But that isn't working. Sure it is. He's turning things around. Barely. Slowly. I'd like to see you do better. Watch me. Now are you gonna fix this mess? Simple. Easy. Curfews after dark. Checkpoints at every bridge. Mandatory identification cards. You're doing fine, Harv. Don't... None of us are doing fine! Yeah, that, uh, DID Sorry. finally kicked in Sorry awfully that, fast. I guess I got a little lost there. I'm probably not getting enough sleep these days. I think you should go see a doctor, Harvey. The way you're behaving, it's not healthy. Yeah, I have a guy's number. I'll, uh, I'll see him. As soon as I have time. He uh, won't. Mr. Dent, the photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce, don't tell anyone about this. If anyone finds out or thinks I'm not fit to be mayor, it's all over. Everything I've worked for. I've never seen this side of you, Harvey, and I sure as hell don't like it. Can I still trust you? No! You never could trust him! See you around, Bruce. For the record, even if you're nice to Harvey and supportive and are understanding and he doesn't get his face messed up, it still pretty much plays out like this, just so you know. You know, I'm not trying to spoil the game or anything, but point out that for all of the vauntedness of uh, Telltale Games saying, oh, you can totally change the game and make all these decisions. Uh, ultimately, it keeps looping back around to Harvey still goes crazy no matter what you do. He, You can only fight fate so much. Which is kind of ironic, given that the whole moral of Harvey's story is that he eventually learns that you know you can fight fate, you can change, and you don't have to flip a coin to decide what your reaction is going to be, which actually that might be a fun way to play this, except that you get three options instead of two on uh, most of the choices. But uh, I digress. Hmm. An interview with the Children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Bruce? 
Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Yeah, if she's been able to talk to their leader, then by extension, so can we. You think she'd hand that information over to Bruce Wayne? And I gave her Montoya's name after Falcone was shot. She might be willing to trade. Though after this interview, I'm sure the police will become suspicious of all of Miss Vale's sources. And if they find out you leaked Montoya's name... True. We need to be careful. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? Batman. I didn't realize that Batman was a fan of my work. Didn't yes. say I was a fan. Just said I wanted to talk. That was dickish. I've been meaning to thank you. Well done. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. You know, we really better hope that Harvey doesn't have any listening devices in his office. But uh, I think we will go ahead and close this chapter out here. And next time, we will start with our date with Vicki Vale. We'll see you then.